Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. And I wanted to talk about how you use your planners that are old. Okay, so I have quite a number of planners that aren't even from this year. Um, and I don't want to waste them. You know, we are purchasing more and more. And, you know, I've got this one here from 2021 because I absolutely love the cover. Um, I've got last year's for 2023. but This is April start. So, I mean, it's still in play, but I do have that one. I've got an undated planner, which I've been using to play around with. But essentially, this isn't going to be used next year. And I've got my Spring Hobonichi 2023 that I started this year in April, actually I started it a bit earlier because it started around February, um, started it around that time and um, there are a lot of pages left and we're coming up to the end of the year and most of my planners start in December so I'm probably going to start them then because why not, they're new, I want to play uh, and um, but I, th I think there's still a lot to be said for what's available and what is in your planner, don't waste them pages because Look, everything here is Tomoe River paper. This is old Tomoe River paper. This is the, the not even the new Tomoe River paper. Um, I know that the week still has the old one in, but, you know, if you haven't got that this year and you've gone for this or you've gone for the Wonderland 222, you want that old Tomoe River paper. There's something about it that, listen, they're both lovely, right? But... You just want that nostalgia. The paper's lovely. It feels so nice. Um, so what have I been doing? What have I been doing in order to use my old, um, out-of-date things? Uh, I have been marking off my days. Um, I made sure that I did that. I could continue to mark them off just to use the pages. I haven't done anything here, but I might be testing it out. So I think we'll just watch this space. I'll see if it works for me over the next month. I didn't use February. I did use March in my old one. I had one that I sold um, and then I bought this one. <laughs> so I did use March in that one. But um, I have this one that I have been playing around with and I want to decide what I'm going to do next time. I've still, look, I've still got loads of months here. I bet if I just renamed the month, there is going to be a month that starts on a Tuesday and I can just use that and figure out what I want to do. I could even plot down what's happening. I could plot down... You know, it's just a don't waste these pages. This is expensive paper. It takes a lot to make it. Um, it this this even actually goes up to May. So you know, I've got another almost half a year here to try things out. Um, if I want to try out kits, I used to do that in my old one. If I want to try out kits, I can do. I've got lots of space that I can just play around with things. I've got days and weeks that I missed. Um, and then obviously I've, I've come back to it, but if I want to try out how to, oh, this is really good. Um, I can go refer back to it. I've got my planner requirements for last year, my planner requirements for this year. I was writing it down. I might want to refer back to it. Um, any stickers, any painting, because Tomoe River paper you can paint on by the way, and I have done, uh, where did I do it here? Um, and I've done it elsewhere. If I want to just get the watercolors out and be a little bit creative, and I don't want to get rid of this. Like, I like what I did in here. I, I want to keep my planner. I don't want to get rid of it. I did quite a lot. There's things that I want to um, remember, absolutely. And there's stuff that I want to memory keep from now on. But um, I may not do it in here. But I've been doing some, like, really just messing around on these pieces of paper. So, um, so July and August, for example... I didn't really do anything, so I'm trying to catch up to where I am now, which I've got all of this to catch up on. So I'm literally just writing notes. I just need to make sure I don't go to any work notes because I've been doing work notes as well. So like I've been using these to... I already put that in, actually, on the 4th of July because that's my mum's birthday. Um, and then any sort of pen tests I've been doing. Uh, my handwriting is a bit different now. So I'm finding it really weird, actually, because with Tombos, I cannot go smaller than this. Uh, and I want to. I, so it's stuff that I want to practice. I just need to check. Um, I was trying some different fonts, different handwriting styles, different pens, uh, different ways to write headings, which was quite fun, I have to say. Let me just check that there's nothing. Yeah, it's fine. 
Um, I did like a what I need to do today, some notes. Absolute game changer. These pens are so nice. These are the Shikari. Uh, uh, yeah, they're nice, really nice. Some video ideas. Um, that's when we got our dog, buddy. I just need to check that there's nothing in there. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I'll keep that covered because it is a bit uh, stuff that we can't discuss. And then that I'll keep covered as well. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. I just need to check. Okay, yeah, we have so our meal plan and to dos and stuff like that. Um, then I've got some more pen tests. I wanted to like compare clean color dots, etc. But what I'm saying is, don't let them go to waste. This is great paper. Um, it helped me to whenever I need. Oh my god, getting a pen to start off again. If a pen sort of dried out a bit and you need to get it working again, use this. I've been finding it really useful. I'm so scared that I'm going to turn the page and there's stuff that I can't really say. Anyway, so I've been playing around with it. And then obviously from the date that I've picked it back up, and again, I need to be really, really careful. Uh, that one I'm going to keep to myself. Here we go. So what I started to do, I've done some others. I've gone, done some brain dumps and stuff for ideas in October. Where is it? There we go, pen test. Um, yeah, how I use my planner, my ADHD brain. You know, these are things that I've been working on. And then here we go. Um, some stuff that I'm going to be doing next year. Like, there's no point in wasting this paper. Absolutely, I'm going to be doing this, word of the day, up until the end of December. And then I'll probably use the rest of the paper to just... Yeah, mess around with, do pen tests on. Um, no good doing pen tests for your new planners because it's not going to be the same paper, but there is quite a lot of notebook here that can be... It's a notebook. Just ignore the dates. I mean, there's a page here that is absolutely just for pen testing. Here. Like, there's two or three pages, actually. I didn't even know these were in here. Um, even on the back, you can just... <laughs> okay, pen... This pen is really scratchy. Um, I haven't put any addresses because I haven't. I believe it's different this time um, to last time. Not everything's in there. Is this about plants? I actually have a... Um, what's the word? Google Lens and it will tell me what it says. I've used it before. So if I need to know... Oh, yeah, look, more pen testing here. So... Honestly, if you're using your old notebooks, uh, your old planners, use them as notebooks. Um, this one, I can't show you everything because it's actually got addresses in. I use this to keep all my pen pal stuff in. I also did paint on it. There we go. There we go. Did a little tree here. Um, so, yeah. I used this to work out when I was going to send me letters. And then I started using it to work out if I like to do different um, layouts and stuff. Have I done that in here? so scared that I'm going to show you something. Yeah, look, different layouts, how I'm going to do them, different layouts of some of the kits that I had. Same here. Just trying it out and having a go and seeing if things work. Oh, yeah, I wanted to see if I could do it this way. So, look, I actually did think about things. I love that I did that. <laughs> That's so sad. Um, and all the addresses of my pen pals are in the back here, so obviously I'm not going to show that. But I really like the cover. So I'm thinking as well, potentially, if I wanted to change the cover of one of my other ones, I bet you I could just slice it down here and stick it in. Like, do a bit of tipping. Because it is just a piece of paper that's holding it together here. I could put in, if I wanted to change the date on it. I just, this cover's beautiful. Look how nice it is. This is the Wada Mercato. I wonder what happened there, because I haven't seen any others. But this is really, really nice. Um, and then, of course, for other things, like I'm using this one. It is hot. Oh, the paper is slightly different. You can really tell now. Um, I was just touching the old one. This is the Sun Zen. This is, so I was looking at... Oh, I've just got a sharp pain in my stomach. I've just eaten, so that's a bit annoying. Um... I've been using this to actually journal the way I want to journal and I'm doing it properly because I will keep this. So I've actually got in everything in here 
but I think it should be something that we don't waste. Like we have all of this paper and essentially that's what it is. If you want to be creative, if you want to make it a junk journal, if you want to um, use it for Instagram only and make things really pretty and you're not really bothered about what's in there, you just want it to look nice, use it for that. You know, you've got loads of extra paper here that you didn't have otherwise. So don't waste it. Have fun with it. Try it out. I think that it's really important that using your old planners as notebooks, as paper, is really important so we don't waste. So that's what I am going to be doing. Um, I have so many. The only one that I seem to not use very often is Mastalogy. And um, even as a notebook, I struggle with that one. But I think it's because I've used it a few times and every time I just keep going away from it. I just I know that it's not for me. I won't be using Astrology in the future. Um, but I have that. I can give that to one of the kids, for example, because it is just a notebook. Uh, it hasn't even got dates in or anything else. So that's how I would um, use any old um, planners. Hopefully that's helpful. I don't know whether you're somebody who doesn't like waste like me and wants to use everything that they've got. Um, obviously, if you haven't used much and you want to destash it, do that. Make a bit of extra money back. They lose their value to a certain extent. But if you've got a home and each cousin that you haven't used and people want to try it out like I've been, uh, you can sell them. Just take out the pages you want to keep and sell it on if you like. Sell it for a fraction of the cost. People are definitely going to buy it. Use the destashes, etc. Anyway, I hope that's been helpful. I know it has for me. Um, I really enjoy messing around with the planners. And it's really nice because there's no pressure to be perfect. So you could just get really messy and not be worried about it. I hope that has helped. Um, give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you've got anything to add. And I hope I see you in the next one. If you do, please subscribe because that would be amazing. Uh, it would really make my day. I hope you're having a good day. Take care. Bye.